from the toolbar select this ellipse tool now by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard drag it outside and make a circle now draw an ellipse here like this and now rotate this ellipse Now take ellipse tool once again by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard drag it and make a circle Now take this circle here and align horizontally Now take rectangular tool and draw a rectangle here drag it little bit down now take rectangle tool once again and here draw a small rectangle this will form a neck now select them and align horizontally again let me make this one little bit bigger so by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard drag it and make the size little bit bigger now select them and uh, fill those shapes with color and let me remove the outline and align it again now take this direct selection tool select this anchor point and this point by pressing shift key now drag it and make a curve now select them and uh, from here unite it now select it and drag it and make little bit bigger in size and bring down by holding alt key drag it and make duplicate and place it here and by using arrow key take it little bit downward now drag this one on the another side and make duplicate now select this circle and from here increase the stroke now select it go to object and expand it let me change the color of this so that we can easily identify and do right click and take it to the front select it and by using uh, right arrow key on your keyboard take it up to here and by using left arrow key take it on the left side and uh, fill this gap now select it go to object path offset path and here give some offset and click ok and you can change the offset color select this offset select this one and this one and take shape builder tool and delete it now take this direct selection tool select this anchor point and this point by pressing shift key and now drag it now select this one go to edit copy edit paste in place and now drag it from here and from this side and drag from here now select this one go to edit copy edit 
paste in place and now drag it and uh, here also drag it now select this one and drag it from this side now select this one edit copy edit paste in place now by pressing and holding shift key do multiple selections now take shape builder tool and you can change the fill color and draw a shape here change the color and draw a shape here now select those and delete it select it do right click on your mouse arrange and bring to front now select them and remove the outline color select it go to object path offset path and here give some offset so let me reduce offset here click ok and change the offset color by pressing and holding shift key on your keyboard do multiple selections now take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it Now select this one and delete it. Now select this one. Go to object, path, offset path and uh, give the same offset here. Preview it. Click OK and change the offset color. Now select them. Take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it now select it and delete it and here we need to fix this area so let me zoom in take this pen tool and from here draw it by following this curve now select them take shape builder tool and delete it now from the toolbar select this star tool and here give three point click OK and now take this one here and rotate it and make sure this point should come at the middle now select this one this one and this one now take shape builder tool change the color and draw it and make a shape here now select this one to double click and delete it now select this one go to object path offset path and give the same offset preview it click ok 
change the offset color now select this offset and this one take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it now let's change the color so here i'll select this blue color select this one and select this green color go to color option and let me make little bit darker select them and change the color let me do some changes in color so from the color option you can slide it here by using text tool now you can write the company name so here I'll simply write company name now double click here and do selection of this word and from here make it bold and change the color double click again and select the text up to this much and change the color now select them and from here align horizontally now let's save this logo in png transparent format so that we can apply it for mockup so go to file export save for web and instead of JPEG uh, select this PNG 24 transparency and here I'll increase up to 200 percent and now you can preview it here and now save it let me save this on desktop you can give any name and click on save after saving this open your Photoshop now in Photoshop go to file open and here is the logo we saved open it again go to file open now double click here now drag the logo over the mockup file and place it here and unmark this background close the tab click on yes and wait for the mockup to be applied now let's check the result hope you like this tutorial